Hello students, today I am here with one of the most awaited topics, uh, you know, uh, which starts from class 6 onwards and continues up to uh, the level uh, through which you are learning mathematics. This is adding and subtracting of rational numbers. Now, usually the procedure which we adopt for addition and subtraction of uh, rational numbers is to take LCM. The concept of LCM is taught to the students first. So today I am going to demonstrate how we can add or subtract rational numbers without actually calculating the LCM. Let me demonstrate one very simple example 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3. Now the procedure which we are going to adopt for adding these two rational numbers is we have to cross multiply these two numbers. 3 into 3 gives us 9. Put the sign which is there in between the two rational numbers and then multiply these two. 2 into 1 gives us 2. In the denominator, we just have the product of the two denominators. 2 into 3 gives us 6. So the final answer is 11 upon 6. There is no need to calculate the LCM of two numbers because there is no common factor in these two denominators. Similar method when applied to this 14 5s are 70 plus 9 7s are 63 upon 9 5s are 45. So the total is 133 upon 45. Isn't that simple? And it consumes 3 seconds only. So the same procedure we will apply now for subtraction. The method remains same irrespective of the sign, the operation which we are conducting. It can be addition or subtraction. 7 4 the 28 minus 5 to the 10 upon 5 7 the 35. The answer is 18 upon 35. I am writing this intermediate step just for the convenience of my students otherwise when you are doing this mentally you don't need to write this step also you can just add 9 plus 2 11 2 into 3 6 so in mental maths you can uh, let go all these steps and arrive at the result directly another example involving one negative and one positive sign the method remains the same Minus 11 into 9 is minus 99, 7 into 3 is 21, 9 into 3 is 27, so the final result minus 78 upon 27. Similar method now I applied to having two rational numbers of negative sign, minus 5 into 1 minus 5, 3 into 2 6 upon 5 into 2 10, the answer is again minus 11 upon 10. Now we have three rational numbers. So we will reduce the first two into a single rational number and then apply the same procedure on the third. 2 into 3 has 6 plus 7 into 1 is 7. 6 plus 7 13. 7 into 3 21 plus 5 upon 2 the third rational number. 13 into 2 is 26, 21 into 5 is 105, 21 into 2 is 42, so the final answer is 131 upon 42. Now another example involving negative signs, again reduce the 2, 28 minus 15 is 13, 7 5 is 35, minus 1 upon 2 as the third rational number 13 into 2 26 minus 35 upon 35 into 2 is 70 26 minus 35 is minus 9 upon 70 which is the final answer now we have one example involving four rational numbers we reduce them in pairs the first pair is this so 22 minus 21 is 1 3 into 11 is 33 we have this positive sign in between now reduce this pair 
15 minus 2 is 13 2 into 5 is 10 same operation now apply to these two 10 plus now we have one calculation 13 into 33 13 3 is a 39 3 carry 13 3 is a 39 plus 3 42 upon 33 into 10 is 330 the so final answer is 439 upon 330 now in all these examples we have taken the rational numbers in which the denominator did not have any common factor that is the HCF of 2 and 3 is 1 there is no number which divides both 2 and 3 similarly there is no number which divides both 9 and 5 2, 3, 5, 11 the HCF of all these numbers is 1 there is no common factor in between them so this method is used only when there is no common factor in the denominators fourth example 3 and 9 had a common factor of 3 in between them so the final answer also has a factor of 3 between the numerator and denominator which you can cancel out and arrive at the final result which is minus 26 by 9 so you can add that little step to the previous video now let us complete this trick number 9 in which we will be dealing with rational numbers having a common factor in the denominators and how they can be dealt with let me take a very simple example first say 1 upon 2 plus 7 upon 8 now here the denominators 2 and 8 they contain a common factor so we cancel out this common factor so that we arrive at 1 and 4 2 1 the 2 and 2 4 the 8 now instead of multiplying 1 by 8 we multiply 1 by 4 that gives us 4 and instead of multiplying 7 by 2 we multiply 7 by 1 so that gives us 7 and the denominator is obtained either by multiplying 2 and 4 or by multiplying 8 and 1 the product is the same in both cases that is 8 so the final answer is 11 upon 8 please notice here that we have not taken LCM we have just cancelled out the common factor between 2 and 8 and converted them into lowest form let us take one more example say 11 upon 6 plus 3 upon 8 again 6 and 8 they have a common factor of 2 between them 2 3 the 6 and 2 4 the 8 11 into 4 44 3 into 3 9 and the denominator either 6 into 4 24 or 8 into 3 24 so the final answer is 53 upon 24 now let us take one more example in which we have three rational numbers having a common factor again i'll have a common factor of uh, say 2 say 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 now again i cancel out the common factor i deal only with the first two rational numbers first 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 into 2 is 4 other rational number is 1 by 6 again 4 and 6 have a common factor of 2 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 3 3 is a 9 2 1 is a 2 9 plus 2 gives 11 and 4 3 is a 12 or 6 2 is a 12 comes in the denominator so the answer is 11 upon 12 so you can see that instead of taking LCM in the traditional manner we can solve these kind of problems just by cancelling out the common factor now let us take one problem of subtraction involving a common factor in the denominators say we have 4 upon 5 minus 
7 upon 10. Now again these two denominators have a common factor of 5 between them. So we cancel out 5. 5 1 is a 5. 5 2 is a 10. 4 2 is a 8. Minus 7 1 is a 7. Upon either 5 2 is a 10 or 10 1 is a 10. So 10 is in the denominator. So the answer is 1 upon 10. Let us take one more complicated little bit complicated example. Say we have minus 1 by 3 minus 4 upon 9 plus 2 upon 11 and we have one more factor say minus uh, 3 upon and take a larger denominator 22. Now if there are four numbers involving common factors we combine those two rational numbers which have a common factor between them like 3 and 9 they have a common factor of 3 and 11 and 22 they have a common factor of 11. So I will solve these two first 3 1s are 3, 3 3 are 9, minus 1 into 3 is minus 3, minus 4 upon either this 9 or this 9 plus now I cancel out the common factor 11 between these two denominators. 11 1s are 11 2s are 2 2s are 4 minus 3 1s are 3 upon 11 2s are 22. So this is minus 7 by 9 plus 1 by 22. And now we notice that 9 and 22 do not have a common factor between them. So we can apply the method as I told to you on in trick number 8. So 22 into 7 it gives 154 plus 9 into 1 gives us 9. And in the denominator we have 22 into 9 which is 198. So the final answer is minus 145 upon 198. Now I am taking one example for demonstrating this concept. Say we have 4 by 3 and 7 by 6. Now we have to find out which of these two rational numbers is greater or we have to put one of these signs greater than less than or equal to sign in between them. Junior students are told like that whereas in competitive exams you are asked to find the greatest among four given rational numbers and so on. So, for doing this in one step, what we need to do is just multiply this 4 by the denominator of the other rational number. So, 4 into 6 gives you 24 and similarly multiply this 7 by the denominator of the other fraction 3 which gives you 21. Now, the side in which you get the larger product here the product is 24 and here the product is 21 so the larger product is on this side 24 so we have 4 by 3 is greater than 7 by 6 so using this simple concept you can tell that 4 by 3 is greater than 7 by 6 just by looking at the two fractions and not by doing the traditional method i'll just show you the method through which the teachers uh, teach the junior students uh, about uh, finding this uh, concept of uh, greater and less. Now in junior classes what they do is 4 by 3 and 7 by 6 they make the students find the LCM of 3 and 6 LCM of 3 and 6 which is 6 so they multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 so this becomes 8 by 6 and this is obviously 6 already so multiply by 1 7 by 6 and now they compare the numerators but this process becomes more tougher when the numbers in the denominator are higher so you have to find the LCM of big numbers which is a tedious work in itself now let us take one more example say 4 by 9 and 5 by 6. Now in these two fractions again 
you do the same thing 4 into 6 24 5 into 9 45 so obviously 45 is greater so 4 by 9 is less than 5 by 6 see things become so simple so easy when we have the shortcuts to do anything and even the junior students can test whether they have put the right sign between the two rational numbers or not just by cross multiplying them and checking which of the two products is greater now coming to mixed fractions in case of mixed fractions also you can follow the same procedure say we have this is first example second now third we have one mixed fraction where, wherein we have to compare 2 5 by 6 it is a mixed fraction and now 2 3 by 4 now obviously when there is a comparison to be done between two mixed fractions the first number 2 will be same in both the fractions otherwise it is automatically uh, known that which of the two numbers is greater so we have to just compare 5 by 6 and 3 by 4 5 4 is a 20 and 6 3 is a 18 so we get 20 and 18 as the product so 20 is greater so the mixed fraction 2 5 by 6 is greater than 2 3 by 4 Similar is the case when we have to find the greatest among 2 or 3 rational numbers, 3 given rational numbers. Say we have 5 by 6 as first rational number and we have 2 by 3 and we have say 7 by 9. Now we have to find which of them is greatest or we have to arrange them in descending order or ascending order. Any type of question which the junior students are doing regularly uh, in the class. So now what we do is we compare the first two now 5 3 is a 15 6 2 is a 12 so obviously 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 3 so 15 is greater than 12 so 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 3 similar observations you can do for 5 by 6 and 7 by 9 so 5 by 6 and 7 by 9 9 5 is a 45 7 6 is a 42 so this is greater than this also so we have 5 by 6 as the greatest of the 3 because 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 3 and 5 by 6 is also greater than 7 by 9. Now we compare these two 18 and 21. So 7 by 9 is greater because 21 is greater than 18. So we have the descending order as this. So see we don't have to do any writing work just mentally we can calculate the cross multiplied products and find out which of the following given rational numbers is greatest or smallest now let us do one activity i i have 12 questions written here and i have to insert a greater less or equal to sign between these 12 questions now see how much time i take to do all these problems whereas by traditional method each question will consume one minute at least if the child knows the concept properly so here i go 16 35 so 35 is greater 15 8 15 is greater 51 52 52 is greater 35 32 35 is greater 84 84 they are equal 63 50 63 is greater 65, 66, 66 is greater, 75, 70, 75 is greater, 27, 16, 27 is greater, 4, 4 is same, so 6, 7, 7 is greater, 10 and 9, 10 is greater and 18, 18 they are equal. See, it takes just 1 or 2 seconds only to find out which fraction is greater. So students, do the concepts by these methods they do save a lot of time in competitive exams and you will definitely feel a touch above the others so keep learning keep enjoying and share and subscribe the video if you like it